What's the point at being good at a tech stack? Since the beginning of time, man has argued about what is the best tech stack. Today, I'm happy to announce that it is in fact Mern. Seriously though, one of the most junior things that you can say is that one tech stack is better than another. Depends on the app that you're building. What's up guys, my name's Sam. Today I'm going to be talking to you about frameworks and why you shouldn't really care about what you're using as a framework. Let me ask you a question. Are you really going to use React to build every single app that you have? What if you need high performance native UI? Will you use React to build a video game? In a similar sense, MongoDB is not the only database that exists. Sometimes it's actually way better to use PostgreSQL because you get access to hooks and a whole bunch of different things that you don't get out of the box with MongoDB. The reason you should use a tech stack is because it's the right tool for the job. Are you building something that needs to target web, iOS and Android? Use Flutter. There are only two reasons to say that one framework is better than another. One, it's popular. And your employer will say this because it means that they can hire more developers to get the app actually built. Number two, the framework works well for the app that you're building. Because after all, you're not going to use Flutter if you're needing just to set up a simple blog. So what does this mean for a frameworker? Well, the idea is that if you're a junior, you shouldn't be focusing on frameworks. You should be focusing on how you become a good developer. And the way you do that is through patterns. You can't just focus on the technology. You've got to focus on what's behind the technology, which is the logic. I'm going to leave you with a pattern which has helped me greatly in my front-end development journey. And if you like this pattern, ask me for more. I might do a video on it. So the pattern we're going to talk about is the composition pattern. And it's a pattern that you'll encounter in a lot of front-end frameworks. In React, the way that we control a component is through its props, which allow us to change the styling and change the functionality within a component. Traditionally, if you have a big component, you will use lots of props to control the individual pieces inside of that component. The composition pattern says that rather than using props to control a component, you should use children. And the reason you should use children is because it becomes very clear how the component is structured and to change every individual aspect of that component you only have to change the individual element composing the component. So now that you've got one more pattern under your belt, my recommendation to you is that you become someone who learns more patterns and cares a lot less about the frameworks that you're using.